welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to talk about uh, polymer clay in general and the brands I mainly use. Uh, some people asked me about this so I thought it might be nice to film this video too. So uh, there are two brands I use the most which means that uh, I have more colors uh, from these two brands. And first one is uh, Fimo and second one is Primo, especially at accents, but uh, yeah, we'll see it later. later. So um, this specific color is the one that I use for uh, skin and it's number 43 uh, from Fimo Soft. Um, in the description box, you'll find the link uh, of the shop where I purchase uh, these I purchased my clay from and um, yeah I kind of like Fimo soft because um, it's soft <laughs> so it's quite uh, easy to work with it and um, there are so many colors and I can choose from a really great and huge variety of colors and it's awesome of course you can mix uh, them too but sometimes it's easier to have uh, um, a ready to use color uh, then we have Primo I have uh, uh, recently started using it for some colors like uh, glitter white um, opal uh, but I'm so happy with it and I was so happy with it that I started purchasing other colors like uh, green, red and I have to admit that I really like those colors. I really like um, how it is soft too. It's easy, it's really easy to work with it. Sometimes it's, e it's too soft for me but um, it's better soft than hard because when you have to work with hard clay it's like a nightmare um, yeah then I have here I have mainly uh, of course this is not uh, <laughs> the, the clay I'm using right now this is like um, these are the colors I haven't opened yet uh, so yeah my box my working box is a mess and it's not nice so, for example, this is already quite hard, not sure, yeah, it's quite hard, uh, but yeah, generally, um, any kind of polymer clay should be soft. If it's hard, it's not because of the brand, it's not because it's hard, because it's old, okay? If something is soft, like this one, it means it's new, um, it's new. If it's hard, it's old. That's it. End of the story. Uh, so, yeah, this is my stock basically. Um, oh, I also use uh, Cernit. I'm not sure um, how to pronounce it, Cernit or whatever, uh, because I use the gold color from this brand. The, the only color I use from this brand is gold. And I also use Artifacts because they have really nice uh, pastel colors. You can mix with other uh, polymer clay brands too and it's awesome. I'm not sure I have it in here, no I don't. Uh, but you'll find it in the link, um, I will leave it down below. And speaking of polymer clay, um, sometimes people ask how to condition it, how to make it uh, softer. Uh, to me, when I want to soft, uh, soften clay, I use this color from uh, Primo. It's, uh, what color is this? Uh, here it is. This is the color. Uh, 5310 translucent um, if you add this one um, the clay uh, will be way softer way easier to use so if you have this problem I would suggest to use this 
mix it with the color you want to use and um, you'll be happy I know that also um, it has a really nice effect of a, like translucent uh, with trans soft and clay that's the way I use it I don't use Fimo liquid I don't use Vaseline I don't like them so that's easier faster and you don't uh, have your hands dirty which is something I really hate um, also if you want to use it um, to use this um, if you want to mix clay and it's quite of hard uh, you can just use a pest machine I just put the, the piece of clay I want to you know mix or whatever and then I roll and it magically uh, becomes softer, easier to work with. Um, so let uh, the pasta machine do the hard work, not your hands, because it's not really healthy for you and your hands as well. Uh, here I have a Fimo liquid because I'm about to finish uh, the other one, the one I'm using right now. I was so happy with this, I decided to purchase one more. Oh, this is a new color, I haven't had the chance to, to try yet, but I can just wait. Um, I, another color I'm so happy with is this one, Pearl 5101. I really like this. Uh, it's, an, it's a nice combination and yeah, kind of like this. So, okay. I think it's everything for now. I hope this helps. Uh, I may have more videos about tips and tricks on how to use polymer clay, how to soften it. If you have any requests, feel free to let me know. It would really help. And okay, um, thanks for watching. See you next video. And don't forget, forget to subscribe if you like this video or, you know, Thanks for watching, bye bye!